Merry Christmas and welcome to Harp and Wellness. The holidays are such a special time for therapeutic music. I love playing music that helps you feel peace, comfort, and uplift all year long, but especially during Christmas time. And that's why I always like to offer something extra special during this time of year on my YouTube channel. This year, I offered my email subscribers a Harp and Wellness Christmas Advent Calendar. Each day, I sent out soothing videos containing therapeutic music, visual art, readings, meditations, and features by some of my wonderful friends and colleagues. Now that the Advent is upon us, I want to share this gift with you. And so, I present to you Gifts and Grace. This is every video in the advent calendar played one right after another to become a beautiful Christmas presentation. I hope that you'll gather with your loved ones and watch it together while you celebrate the joy of the season. I hope that this might even become an annual tradition for you. I wish you all the peace and joy this holiday season. And now here's gifts and grace. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. When out on the roof there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. What to my wondering eyes did appear? but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick.
Good news from heaven the angels bring, glad tidings to the earth they sing.
Christmas is more than a day in December. It's all of those things that we love to remember. It's carolers singing familiar refrains. Bright colored stockings and shiny toy trains. Streamers of tinsel and glass satin balls. Laughter that rings through the house and its halls. Christmas is more than a day in December. It's the magic and the love that we'll always remember. Thank you.
The holidays are a great time to reflect on your year thus far. Sometimes we get so busy with end of year stress, preparing for holiday gatherings, and Christmas shopping that we forget that there were 11 other months in the year and we should look back on our memories. Life has its ups and downs, so some of those memories might be great and others might not be so great but it's important to think through all of them that you can remember, to accept those negative memories and to let them go, and to rejoice in the positive memories. Remember the people that you met along the way, remember the places you went, and remember the experiences that you had. Let's take a few deep breaths together, and whatever memories come to light, let them in and if they're good memories, smile and rejoice in them. And if they're not so great, accept them and let them go. Breathe in. We will 
leave off with a poem by Ralph Waldo Emerson. This is my wish for you. Comfort on difficult days. Smiles when sadness intrudes. Rainbows to follow the clouds. Laughter to kiss your lips. Sunsets to warm your heart. Hugs when spirits sag. Beauty for your eyes to see. Friendships to brighten your being. Faith so that you can believe. Confidence for when you doubt. Courage to know yourself. Patience to accept the truth. Love to complete your life.
Come give the holly a song, for it helps to drive the stern winter away. It peeps through the trees with its berries of red and its leaves of burnished green. When the flowers and fruits have long been dead and not even the daisy is seen, then sing to the holly, the Christmas holly. The gale may whistle and frost may come. The woods may be bare and the warblers dumb, but the holly is beautiful still. So sing to the holly, the Christmas holly.
Welcome. I'm here with my harp, James, and we're going to do a five minute harp therapy session based around a Christmas mantra that you allow to enter your mind and that you can repeat to stay focused and present in your environment. So this mantra will be your pairing with the harp music, which is just going to be a very light, simple improvisation to help you focus, center yourself, and just take a little bit of time for self-care. You can decide on your own mantra, whatever resonates with you. It might be a word, it might be a phrase. So take a minute and think about what you want your mantra to be, whether it's something about the joy of the holidays, gatherings, celebrations, 
And then for the next few minutes, let that mantra be your focus along with the music.
Oh, oh, oh.
What are you thankful for this holiday season? We're going to take a minute and do a gratitude meditation where we're going to think of three things that we are thankful for and we're going to let those in to our minds, bodies, and souls. Light ourselves up and then we're going to release that gratitude back out towards whatever that thing is that we are feeling gratitude for. So sit comfortably and clear your mind. Take a couple breaths to let that air flow through your body up to your mind. And when your mind is clear, start to bring in something that you are thankful for right now during the holiday season. This can be a person, a place, a thing, anything that comes to mind, embrace that. Give it a big, warm hug in your mind. And take that time to pause and say, thank you. Thank you for being a part of my life during this wonderful, joyous time of the year. Feel that warmth, all those positive feelings of having this in your life. And then take a breath in. And on your exhale, let it out 
and extend that gratitude forward toward this object of your gratitude and beyond. On your next breath in, take in something else that you are thankful for this time of year. Let it warm your heart and soul. Let it bring you all the positive, good feelings. And then on your exhale, extend that gratitude outward to the object of your gratitude and beyond. Let's take another inhale and we'll think of one more thing that brings us gratitude for the holidays. Breathe in and nourish yourself with all those positive, good feelings. And on your exhale, let it out and thank this object of your gratitude and extend that gratitude beyond. One of the things that I am surely grateful for is to have the pleasure of bringing my music and meditations to you this holiday season. So thank you so much for being a part of this advent calendar, this video, if you're watching it on YouTube. I wish you the merriest Christmas, the best holiday season, and a joyous new year.
December is the month of winter solstice. If you're following the advent calendar, then tonight is the winter solstice. This is the turning point where we have the shortest day of the year, but from here on out, the days are going to get longer until springtime. Sometimes cold to dark days can make us feel under the weather or sad, crestfallen. So there are a few things that we can do instead of feeling sad for the dark season, we can embrace the dark season and we can invite in our own warmth. So we're going to engage all five senses and we're going to find what you can experience to bring warmth and light into your life on the darkest day of the year. We will begin with the sense of sight. Now you can either use the sight in your mind by closing your eyes and envisioning things, or you can look around for real objects in your environment. But I want you to start thinking about things in your life that bring you warmth and bring you light. And think about how you can use and implement these things when you're feeling sad or when times are feeling just a little bit too dark. Whatever came to mind, just meditate on that object. Or maybe it's a person, a place. Let it enter your mind and bring you warmth and light. And next, we're going to move to our sense of hearing. Think about something that you like to listen to that will bring you warmth and light this season. Perhaps it's Christmas music. Maybe it's the Christmas music that you've been enjoying during this Harp and Wellness Advent calendar. Or maybe it's something else. Maybe it's the voices and laughter of your loved ones. Or maybe it's the sound of roaring embers in your fireplace or the flickering of candlelight. Whatever comes to your mind, Meditate on that sound. Next, we're going to move to our sense of smell. Think about some smell that brings you warmth and light. The smell of fire in the fireplace. Maybe an essential oil that you like to use. Right now, I dabbed a little bit of cranberry fig essential oils on me because it reminds me of Christmas and I wanted to feel the Christmas spirit while I was recording this. So I'm smelling that right now and it's wonderful. But whether you can actually smell something right now or not, envision it. We have really strong olfactory memory. So just picture it in your mind, what that smell is. And embrace that warmth and light that it's bringing. Now let's move on to our sense of taste. Think about something that you love to eat in winter time. Maybe it's a hearty root vegetable, or maybe it's holiday sweets like cookies. Every morning for Christmas, we make cinnamon rolls and the smell of cinnamon and butter baking in the oven just always brings me back to the best of times. So that's going to be my choice of taste that I'm going to envision right now. Choose your own, anything that brings warmth and light to you in your life and meditate on that taste.
something interesting that happens that may have happened to you too is just envisioning that taste I start to salivate a little bit so it's interesting to be mindful of the body responses to just imagining things all right let's move on to our final sense of touch and think about something that brings you warmth and light that you can touch and feel maybe it's a cozy blanket maybe it's the warmth of the fireplace or the candles whatever comes to mind meditate on that feeling that texture and let it bring warmth and light to you and your life Whenever you're feeling the effects of the dark days of winter, remember that you have resources in your environment and even in your imagination to bring you warmth and light. Our lives are always seeking a homeostatic balance. So where there's dark, there will be light. Where there's cold, there will be warmth. Where there's bad, there will be good. So keep your head high for the remainder of this season. Remember that there are longer, lighter days ahead. And right now, just be present, feel cozy, feel warm, and enjoy the rest of your holiday season.
Thank you.